Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to just take a few minutes and show you some of the um, tips and tricks that I have for getting my resin prints out of the printer. And um, the first of which is I actually have a little wedge that I put under the printer after it's done printing. So the printer sits at a slight angle. You don't want to overdo this, uh, but this helps a lot with making all the resin pool on one side of the build platform. And that is a really good thing because once you take it out and it hasn't pooled on one side, it's just going to drip everywhere. So this makes things a lot easier. And if you have something like a figurine or so, then maybe you don't even want to wash it off and you just want to have all of the um, still liquid resin just drip off of it and putting this over on one side just makes this a lot easier uh, the second thing that i like to do is i actually leave it in a resting position for about at least one hour because a lot of the resin is still going to come off it slowly it just takes a lot of time and once you've done that uh, you're basically you want to take it out and uh, before you do that of course wear your gloves uh, put on your respirator um, and prepare a lot of uh, paper uh, towels then you take it out then you immediately put it into uh, isopropylene alcohol and don't only rinse it, really make sure to, to really get a lot of flow through everything because there will be a lot of resin trapped in there and the alcohol doesn't actually dissolve the resin, it just washes it off and it makes sure that it can't attach itself to the other resin again. The, the resin will still be in its resin form inside the alcohol and if you put your alcohol under uh, UV light, it is it's going to coagulate and it's going to turn solid and uh, you can then basically rinse the alcohol as long as it's not discolored from any coloring agents and you can reuse it so that is uh, some of the simple stuff so let's get this piece out here and um, put it into some alcohol to get it out I either use one of a um, um, spudger or I use a, a really new cutter knife, like this one here. And as long as it's really new, you can just slide it under the print and just pry upwards really, really carefully. You won't scratch the surface of the build platform, um, but if it sticks on really well, uh, you can get it off really easy. So now with the with everything prepared, I've got my alcohol, I've got my my paper towels, um, but I do have the studio light on, so I want to get the print out as quickly as possible. Um, since it's been standing on an angle, most of the leftover resin has pulled on the left side of the print, so I'm going to take it out and angle it over to the right side, making sure that where the pools were, um, I can get over the uh, vat of uh, alcohol as quickly as possible and then I'm going to close the printer up really quickly uh, just to make sure that I don't expose the leftover resin in here. Um, this is something that you should also take care. Um, you, the light that you have in the room that you're working um, is going to mess with the resin so um, if you take the, the, the top off be quick about it. So here we go. And we can actually use this to rinse this a little. We take the blade and the print comes off really easy, but with a bang. There we go.
and once it's somewhat cleaned we can return this into the printer right away and we're done now we'll just clean these parts off now clear resin is kind of an odd thing to do because the better you clean it off um, the more opaque it's going to turn and uh, there's basically almost nothing that you can do about it but what you really want to do is you want to make sure that there are no droplets in there because they can really ruin your print really easy and once you have it cleaned up um, you want to set it aside uh, and let all the alcohol that is on here you want to have it dry off naturally um, you don't want to wipe it off uh, because that may introduce scratches and uh, if there's still alcohol on here when you put it into the sun or into your curing chamber um, the the places where the alcohol is um, they're gonna have spots and uh, it's just gonna look really ugly so you want to make sure that the alcohol is off before the resin starts reacting with the ultraviolet and before it starts curing completely so just in case you're wondering this here is a raspberry pi case uh, from thingiverse that i'm uh, trying to do and it's already drying off and and you can see it it basically loses um the shine through if you want to preserve that um, don't rinse it in alcohol just make sure that there are no droplets left over and runouts and just cure it like that as soon as it, as it turns uh, wet again um, the surface will come back but you really have to make sure that um, you get all of this cleared off whoops and you don't want to do that so I think it's clean enough now I already did the same thing with the with the cover at the end and I'll leave them on the paper towel just so it can suck away all the all the excess on the bottom and I just place it on paper towel like so and leave this for a couple of minutes um, wipe it down again make sure that it is all dry that all the alcohol has evaporated and then I put it into the into the uh, curing chamber which in my case is just a bucket full of uh, ultraviolet lights and let it cure for a while well for a while is uh, relative uh, usually I leave it in there for about four to six hours um, the clear material doesn't take quite as long but if you have something that is blue or black um, it will take a really really long time to completely cure and finally once you're done um, doing everything uh, you want to make sure that you clean off everything that you've worked on because uh, uh, this stuff just stays on it it doesn't really cure or you should get yourself an, a UV lamp and just make sure that everything that you have around you um, gets cured and 
also you want to make sure that you clean the printer if you've dribbled on it because the the resin actually messes with the touch screen all right if you have resin on the touch screen it will get It won't work as good as you're expecting it. And uh, yeah, once you've done cleaning your workspace, um, make sure to take care of the isopropylene alcohol that you've used. Um, in my case, this stuff is just going to go back into the vet. And um, once I've used it three or four times, um, I put it into a glass container, I put that one into the curing chamber for about 15 seconds and then I run it through a uh, coffee filter and that is just going to catch all of the resin and once I've got all of the resin caught, um, if the alcohol is not discolored um, you can reuse it for your primary uh, cleaning. Um, if it's been discolored um, I either evaporate most of it and put the rest of it in a container that I can take to um, the recyclers and um, they take care of that. Just make sure just that you don't just dump it, I don't know, into the toilet or, or in any type of wastewater or put it in your garden uh, because um, some of the chemicals in there in the epoxy, um, they're just not nature friendly and um, they can really mess with you. So uh, also always make sure that you clean up after working because um, you do not want to get uh, sensitive to this stuff because it causes pretty severe uh, allergic re reactions and uh, you don't want that, I suppose. So um, yeah, that's it for this. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, 3D printer standing at a slight angle until I use it the next time. Um, if I clean it out, I don't have to keep it at an angle. Um, having it at an angle just makes sure that um, everything that pulls runs off to one side and you can take care of it before doing your next print. Um, some people even tell you to do your prints with the printer at a slight angle. So once it moves, it makes sure that um, there's more movement in the filament and uh, that everything runs off to one side, possibly making sure that you have less resin in any cavities of your print. Um, but I'm not sure that this really helps. It might help a bit. Um, I do it after the print just to make sure that everything runs off to one side where it will pull and it will drop off more easy uh, but uh, maybe printing at a slight angle um, might even help uh, just make sure that your angle is not so bad that it can drip over the um, over the container with the resin because you don't want to have the mess on your LCD so this here is how the print turned out in the end uh, as you can see this is not really see-through if you want it to stay see-through like uh, this figurine for example um, what I do is I don't rinse this I just make sure that it drips off I take off all the droplets at the end so it doesn't have any I make sure that there are no um, no droplets in the cavities and then I just cure it like that I just put it in the curing chamber without rinsing it with alcohol if you rinse it with alcohol, all the layers that you've introduced um, during the curing and uh, all the small vertical lines that you have from pulling it out of the resin, they become visible uh, because the alcohol just takes out everything that was in there and it just makes it one very uneven surface. Um, I like this look too and uh, you can actually see when you look at the edges um, inside it is still perfectly clear but if you want it to stay see-through um, just don't rinse it with alcohol clean it up make sure that there is uh, nothing um, in the edges that you have no pools that you have no droplets and just cure it like that without rinsing it off 
and it looks really really cool so now that was really it um thank you for watching and bye bye